Hey everybody, my name is James, and this right here is West Tennessee Lewis. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Uh, I've been dying to share this brand of tools with uh, you all for quite a while now. I discovered this line of tools in Lowe's here not too long ago. Uh, I'm sure they've probably been around a while, but I, I've just now noticed them. And I am so excited to share the brand of Tough Built with you all. I'm not sponsored by them at all. They don't even know who I am. I'm not getting anything. Uh, but just enjoyment of uh, getting to share this with y'all. Uh, but I just started getting into the Tough Built stuff. They've got so many neat things to offer. They've got so many little different tools. I'm going to go broke here pretty soon if they don't quit coming out with tools. But I want to share with you the f well, number one reason why I love this brand so much. I'm actually wearing this belt. What I love about this belt is the versatility that's involved. It all has to do with these clips here that are on the side. These pouches, they're all quick disconnect. Um, you get the, the, the clip on, the clip on just like that right there. It's all quick, fast, quick disconnect. It's all real quick. What I love about this, I find myself doing a lot of different things. Um, I do roofing. I find myself doing some framing now and again and carports and stuff like that. And I don't always need the same pouches all the time. Uh, I don't always need my drill. So... Whenever I go from doing it for metal roofing and I'm going to framing, I can clip that off or take it off, clip this on right here, and I actually have the tough built hammer that goes with it. And there you go, I'm ready to go. Say I don't need screws right there at the moment, but I do need my shears. That comes off and I go right to it like that right there. And it's easy to get to. You can take them off, you can take them on, or you can put them on. I find myself sometimes while I'm on a roof, that I'm doing uh, some different trim work and I have to get down on my knees and stuff. I have to get, you know, get down and have everything hanging on me. I can take each pouch and set them off to the side or whatever it is that I'm doing. Uh, most of the time I run with this right here for roofing. I'll put this on for my drill there, put my screws in this pouch. This, they also have this really nifty little tape measure uh, holder. I didn't really think I was gonna like this when I first bought it. But it actually ends up being it ends up being really convenient. So I stick that one right there on the back, and then I put my shears on this side. And that's how I that's how I normally put a roof on. It doesn't go anywhere. Everything stays. <laughs> I absolutely love it. This is such a great system. Uh, if 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 a pouch were to rip or a pouch were to break or something like that, you know you're not out the entire belt. You could just go buy one pouch. I love the versatility of this setup. Um, Tough Built actually offers, it, they, they've already made their own rail that you can purchase right from them. It's right on the Tough Built brand. Uh, I personally thought it was a little expensive for my liking. So I kind of cheated. And what I did, I made my own system. You can buy these clips. You can get, I think, three of them for $5. And all I did is I took a just a, a piece of flat metal. I bought some magnets from Harbor Freight, screwed them on there. I think I bought two or three packs of these, set it all up on magnets. So if I'm at a job site and, you know, I don't need what's on my belt, I slap that right to the truck and I hang everything up right there. Another thing that I do when I'm done for the day and I'm wrapping up my tools, I take this bar. I slap it right on the back of the truck and I hang every one of my pouches there fully loaded and I go down the road. Uh, I don't have to worry about it. I've, I've driven all over the place with this setup already. Haven't lost anything. Um, I, I, I think it's really great. I've had this for about, I don't know, about a month and a half now. And uh, it's, it's, it's just been a really, really great setup. This belt here, it has a, uh, this band, you can put these clips on, you can put as many on them as you want, or as, as little. That there, that's just a cheap thing I found at the hardware store, but Tough Built also makes a phone holder for it too. But uh, really super heavy duty clip. I have yet to have it come loose on me. They're really even thoughtful enough. They have this extender for the more portly fellas. <laughs> it's on a zipper and it has an extension that comes out about that far. Um, you know, if, if, if this is too big or too small for you. Say another thing I like doing whenever I'm out doing estimates, 
I'm all the time using a tape measure for whatever. Uh, I'll take one of those clips and I keep it on my belt. And my tape measure pouch slides right there. And I'll go do my estimate. When I'm done, I hop in the truck, clip that right there. I get in the truck and I go away. And I don't have anything, you know, uh, hindering me when I'm sitting down in the cab. Uh, I absolutely love the versatility with this. Um, I love the pouches. I will say it's not inexpensive. As much as I hate to say that, I've found that the tough built stuff is actually relatively expensive. I think to get set up with all these pouches and the belt and even with this rail cost me somewhere around like $250, $250 some, somewhere around in there. A couple of the part, a couple of the pieces I actually had to order on Amazon, I was not able to find at Lowe's. But also in that, not just a really neat tool belt setup, they have some really neat hand tools, and I want to show those to you. So the first tool that really got me interested in this particular brand uh, is this siding knife right here. Um, and you might not need have a need for this, I don't know, but I know I sure did. Uh, in doing roofing, I need a straight blade and a hook blade, especially when I'm doing a shingle repair. Uh, and I'm all the time either having to carry two knives or having to switch the blades back and forth, but not with this knife. Right here, you have the straight blade. If you don't need that, the magazine pops out. You have preloaded hook blades in another magazine, and you go right at it. Just that simple. And it is set, it, it's just it's just as simple as that. And I love that the the uh, the the, the, the magazine feed. So like that right there. If the blade's no good, you can take it out, reload, and you got another one right there ready to go. It works just as handy with that. Uh, that's that's tough built. This here's another knife that I really love. It's a knife. Or it's a scraper knife scraper <laughs> and I just I just think that's so handy uh, this here's another one that I've, I've found that I really enjoyed this is uh, it's like a little handsaw and uh, the blades release what I like about it is it uses regular saw blades you know for your saws all and it comes with a plastic one one for metal one for wood but it's just just super handy uh, I have two pairs of pliers. My, the, the bigger ones are down in the tractor. But these crescent wrenches, I've used them a bunch. They seem to be fantastic. I love the crescent wrenches. Uh, these screwdrivers, they're all magnetic tipped. I want to say that, I want to say they're uh, insulated some kind. It seems like I remember reading it on the, the package that you know these are good for electrical too. But don't hold me to that. I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure. Um, but they offer these. I absolutely love this hammer. The hammer works so nice in your hand. Uh, it's super versatile. What I love about this hammer, and the reason why I bought this hammer is because it goes with the pouch. You know, it's 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 literally a holster uh, for the hammer. Instead, I've never liked this hook. You know, because it just flops around and it's noisy and it just it slaps the back of your leg and everything else. So if you were to go with that system, you've got the hammer holster. And the, the hammer actually fits perfect along with it. They also have another framing hammer that has, a, it's actually spring-loaded. Um, it's, a, it's a lot more expensive, but I went ahead with that one. They have a couple of these really nice magnetic le levels. And this here is a neat little dude. It's act, it actually, uh, it's, it's an angle level where you can determine the angle of something and level it up and know what your pitch is. So that's just a, a few of the tools that they've offered. I know they have a few more. I have a few more pieces. They're just they're in my other truck. But uh, this is a brand that I have thoroughly enjoyed. I think it's really, really quality stuff. Uh, their tape measures is the only thing that I'm not super giddy about. I've had this one for a while. Um, I mean, it, it does the job. You know, I mean, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with it. But I, I, I feel like I have used nicer tape measures. You know, they have the 25 and the 16. One thing I do like is it has this little button on the back. It's like if you want to hold it, you know, you can push the button instead of putting your finger up there. I've cut my finger before on those. But uh, it's just a really great brand. They have a lot of different things to offer. And uh, I've been getting into it. And I've been dying to share this with you on the channel. So there you have it, folks. There's my tough built uh, setup. You can find pretty well all of these pieces uh, at Lowe's. Uh, the only ones I could not find at Lowe's 
was the hammer holster. I had to order that from Amazon. And the drill holster. I could not find that anywhere but on Amazon. And they have a couple of different variations of this. I find it really, really handy. I like it so much better than the hook, you know, where it just hangs. Uh, that there is super secure. I've climbed all over roofs, upside down, you name it. And this thing just doesn't go anywhere. Uh, but I think, thing of it is, I think, I want to say this was like 12 bucks. Uh, the hammer holster, I think, was like $9. The drill pouch, I think, is like 13 uh, this little doohickey here, there's a lot of different things. I think this is actually supposed to be the knife holder. Uh, that fits in there pretty nice. I'm pretty sure that's what it's for. And another thing I, I think is thoughtful, a lot of these holsters have the tape measure thing on there that fits really securely. And uh, a lot of them have that on there. They fit really nice. Um, I think that that was like seven or eight bucks. This one here. Two tubes of silicone fit in it absolutely perfectly. <laughs> or you can use it for shears. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't know what your needs are. I, you may be an electrician. You may be a plumber, a roofer, framer. I'm not sure. But they have a load of other attachments, other accessories. that it goes on the same quick clip system here. Uh, they make a frame and nailer hanger You know, that has the great big you know, the, the, the two-by hook. They have all kinds of really neat stuff. I really wish they would stop coming out with it because I'm, <laughs> I keep buying it and uh, it's going to put me in the hole. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to share this with you. This is my setup. I've used it for a couple of months now. I think it's fantastic. I think you should go out to your local Lowe's and get it because I think you'd enjoy it as well. Uh, anyways, my name is James. This is West Tennessee Living. I really appreciate you stopping by the channel. I'd really appreciate it if you leave me a like. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this stuff. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, please let me know. Please consider subscribing, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.